Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron tayong math problem uh, regarding sa isa sa mga application ng pre-calculus which is yung ellipse mga idol. So this is uh, a question asked by one of our subscribers so we're just trying to help. Paano ba sagutan yung ganitong klase ng tanong? Since I think hindi pa siya ganun ka-familiar kapag we're talking with parametric equations in ellipse. Pero before that mga Lodi, shoutout muna kay Erin Kente Sorero and kay Roland Lumpay. Thank you so much mga Lodi sa patuloy na pag-support sa channel natin and I hope you all the best. Magpalahin kay Lord and yun, focus lang. So ang problem natin mga idol is an athletic field is defined by the parametric equations x minus 2 is equal to 6 sin t and y plus 1 is equal to 4 cos sin t. Find the following. So this are the these are the things that we need to uh, find so the center the endpoints of the minor and the major axis and its length and the coordinates of the foci so ganito yung gagawin natin dyan mga lodi since hindi pa kayo sanay ganun sa parametric equation unang papansin ninyo merong tayong sin theta or sin t and cos sin t pero if alam nyo yung basic identity na lagay natin dito the Pythagorean identity is uh, sine squared t plus cos sine squared t that is equal to 1. Ganun yung gagawin nyo dito. So, paano po yung process dyan, Sir IJ? So, let's uh, let's uh, write first the equations given. So, we have x minus 2 is equal to 6 sine t. And meron tayong y plus 1 equals 4 cos sine t. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, since meron tayong sine and meron tayong cosine, i-isolate natin yung sine lang and cosine. So, ano ibig sabihin ng isolator IJ? Dapat sine or cosine lang yung matitira dun sa right side natin. Therefore, yung mga constants na multiplier ng sine and cosine will be uh, transposed or ipapapuntahin natin sa left side. So, by applying the, uh, yung mga properties na kailangan natin i-apply. So, for this case, since nakamultiply ito, i-divide natin siya dun sa left side natin. So, our first equation can be transformed as x minus 2 all over 6 is equal to sine t. Okay? How about the second equation, sir, ij? So, your second equation, mga lodi, so that will be y plus 1 all over 4 is equal to cos sine t. So, ito na yung first step, mga lodi. Dahan-dahan lang, chillax lang. So, ito na. Nagawa na nating i-formulate yung sin t and cos sin t in terms of the variables x and y respectively. So, ano nang gagawin natin? So, from the Pythagorean identity na sin squared t plus cos sin squared t is equal to 1, so, what we will do is we will square both sides. So, what will happen? So, meron tayong x minus 2 quantity squared over 6 squared equals sine squared t. Anong ginawa nyo, sir, ij? In square ko lang yung left side natin. So, in square ko yung taas, in square ko yung baba. Ganon din sa kanan. So, meron tayong y plus 1 quantity squared over 4 squared is equal to cosine squared t. So, yan na yung nangyari, mga idol. And then, sin squared to, cos squared to, pag in mo tong dalawang equation na to, sin squared plus cos squared, babalik ka dito sa Pythagorean identity na to. Therefore, kapag in natin yan, makaka-formulate tayo ng equation ng isang ellipse, that is 6 squared, plus the second equation, y plus 1, quantity squared, over 4 squared is equal to cos eh, sorry, is equal to 1. Okay? Kasi sin squared plus cos squared t, that is 1, inad lang po natin. Ganun po siya, mga lodi. So, ibig sabihin pala, Sir IJ, itong parametric equation na ito, itatransform natin sa isang rectangular equation, which is in the form of x and y. And nakita natin na ellipse siya. Bakit siya ellipse, Sir IJ? Kasi x squared, y squared, tingnan nyo yung ilalim. Dahil magkaiba to, therefore, it follows that ellipse yan. Pag nagkapareho to, that is circle. Tapos kapag negative naman tong gitna, that is a hyperbola. Ganun lang siya. Yung parabola, dapat isa lang yung naka-square. So, nire-recall lang natin yung mga basic concepts ng conic sections natin, yung mga basic equations nila. So, therefore, this is an ellipse. Ano yung center niyan, Sir IJ? So, sige, pwede ko na muna tong burahin mga lodi para at least ma-determine natin lahat ng mga inahanap natin. We will just remember yung given natin na equation na nakatransform na sa rectangular form which is in terms of x and y. So, tandaan natin yun mga idol ha. So, burin ko na rin to. So, you can copy or, or you can pause the video first so that you can copy the notes. So, what will happen? 
So, ang equation natin, lagay natin dito sa taas. So, meron tayong x minus 2 quantity squared over 6 squared plus y plus 1 quantity squared over 4 squared is equal to 1. So, for our first letter, so that is, we will find the center. So, diba that is hk, x minus h. Pwede nyo balikan yung tutorial natin regarding the introduction to ellipse. Para at least mas ma kita nyo maigi. Paano kinukuha yung center? Pero this is in the form of h, kama k. So, ibig sabihin dahil plus to, magiging negative yung k natin. Therefore, for letter A, ang sagot natin is yung center natin has coordinates 2, kama negative 1. So, ito na yung sagot sa first question natin. Okay? Next, letter B, endpoints of the minor and the major axis and its length. So, ganito mangyari dyan. Diba, naalala natin sa ellipse, meron tayong tatlo. Meron tayong A squared, meron tayong B squared, meron tayong C squared. Ano ba yung pinakamalaki sa ellipse? Yun yung A squared, di ba mga Lodi? Kasi yun yung length ng major axis natin. Yung fo Bakit yun yung pinakamalaki? Kasi yung, yung foci natin, or yung coordinates ng mga focus natin, is located dun sa loob. Kaya, siya yung magiging pinakamalaki natin, which is yung A squared. Kung baga, meron tayong uh, A squared, B squared, tsaka C squared, na kung saan, ito yung equation niya, kapag sa ellipse. Kasi yung A yung pinakamalaki. Tapos, ganito yung technique mga Lodi. Tingnan nyo maigi, ano yung mas malaki dito? 6 or 4? Obviously, that is 4. Therefore, it follows that A is equal to 6 and B is equal to 4. Tandaan kung ano po yung pinakamalaki. Lagi lang po siyang A squared, B squared. Titingnan nyo lang ano yung mas malaki sa ellipse. Automatic yun yung A. Yung kabila, yun yung B. So, that is A is equal to 6, B is equal to 4. So, ang hinahanap natin, length ng major axis, mamaya na yung endpoints. Ano ba yung major at yung minor axis natin? Ang major axis natin or length ng major axis natin of the major that is equal to 2A mga Lodi. Dalawa yan kasi dalawa, di ba? Sa kaliwa at sa kanan, sa kaliwa kanan. So that is 2A. Therefore, this is 2 times 6. That is equal to 12. That will be the first answer dun sa letter B natin. Or I mean yung mga lengths pala. How about the length of the minor axis? So, that is just equal to 2B. So, that is 2B. Therefore, that is 2 times 4. Therefore, this is equal to 8. So, ito yung mga lengths ng major and minor axis natin. Major axis 2A, minor axis 2B. How about, sir, IJ, endpoints of the minor and major axis natin? Paano po nalalaman yan? Obviously, kailangan muna natin malaman ano ba yung, uh, what you call this, yung itsura ng ellipse natin or ano ba yung pinaka- uh, major axis niya is it horizontal ba or vertical so ganito po yung ganito po yung way ng pagdetermine kung ano yung kapartner nung malaki i mean kung ano yung nasa taas niyang variable that will determine what will be the major axis will it be horizontal or vertical nakatayo nakahiga ba yung ellipse natin or nakatayo kung mapapansin niyo mas malaki yung 6 ang kapartner niya ay x x means horizontal therefore yung ellipse natin is tama ka diyan lodi naka Higa. So, ganito yung mangyayari sa ellipse natin. Kung magagawa tayo ng uh, ellipse na nakahiga, ganyan po siya. Although, isipin nyo na lang mukhang ellipse. Kahit di siya mukhang ellipse ng mga Lodi. So, ano yung center natin? 2 comma negative 1. So, ito yung kunyari, ito yung center natin located sa 2 comma negative 1. Pwede nyo namang i-plot kung, I mean, marunong naman kayo. So, 2 comma negative 1, ito yung center natin. So, ibig sabihin pala nyan, Sir IJ, nakahiga yung ano natin, yung ellipse natin. Itong a natin, etong 6, i-add natin to the right and i-minus natin to the left. So, since dahil ang major axis natin is horizontal, therefore, ang movement nito will be yung x yung magbabago kasi horizontal siya. So, dahil 6 units to, so, ang mangyayari for the endpoints of the major axis, mag-add tayo ng 6 sa x and magsusubtract tayo ng 6 sa x para malaman natin yung endpoints natin. Kapag sinimplify natin to, therefore that is negative 4, negative 1 tapos ito is uh, 4, ay uh, sorry, 8 comma negative 1. Okay? So ano tong negative 4, negative 1, 8 comma negative 1? These are the endpoints of the major axis natin ng ellipse natin. Okay? Paano naman po yung endpoints ng minor axis? Ito yung mga nasa taas mga lodi which is ito yung B. B, B. Kaya nga siya 2B, yung minor axis natin. A, A, kaya nga siya 2A. Ano yung B natin? 4. 
So, mag-add ka naman ng 4 units up, therefore Y, yung magbabago. So, ano yung magiging coordinates nito? So, mag-add ka ng 4 dito, so that is 2 comma, negative 1 plus 4, that is 3. Kaya maigi makinig yung mga Lodi, kasi hindi naman lahat yung nasulat ko, mas maganda kung pinapakinggan nyo rin yung sinasabi ko. So, meron tayong negative 1 plus 4, that is 3. Kaya naging 2 comma 3, tapos negative 1 minus 4 pababa, so that is 2 comma negative 5. Ito na po yung endpoints ng minor axis natin. Ito naman po yung endpoints ng major axis natin. How about po yung foci, Sir IJ, for the last question? Saan natin malalaman yun? So, dahil nga meron tayong relationship na ganito, makukuha natin yung value ng C. Yung C kasi, that will determine the distance of the foci from the center, of each foci from the center of the ellipse. So, we have A squared. Ano yung A natin? 6. So, meron tayong 6 squared plus b squared eh, sorry equal sorry equals b squared plus c squared so this is 36 equals 16 plus c squared 36 minus 16 that is 20 ano square root ng 20 that is square root of 20 or so plus or minus yan actually kaya lang i-add mo rin naman at isusubtract so positive na lang yung consider ni sir IJ so meron tayo 2 square root of 5. Bakit po naging ganyan? Ang 20 can be written as 4 times 5. Ganon siya mga lodi. So, anong gagawin natin sa 2 square root of 5 na yan? From the center, tandaan natin na ang focus is always lying on the major axis. Kung ano yung major axis niya, let's say, horizontal siya, nandun yung focus natin. Kung vertical yung ellipse natin, or vertical yung major axis natin, that is dun sa, I mean, dun nakalocate yung foci natin. So, for this case, dito siya located, Therefore, x yung babaguhin natin. Mag-move tayo ng to the right and to the left by square root of by 2 square root of 5 units. Therefore, mag add ka lang ng 2 square root of 5 sa x. So, ano yung foci natin? Let's say, ito yung f1. Ito yung f2 natin. So, ang f1 natin has coordinates. May coordinate siya na 2, com, sorry, 2 plus 2 square root of 5 comma negative 1. And yung f2 natin, Dahil gagalaw ka pa kaliwa, 2 square root of 5 units, that is 2 minus 2 square root of 5, comma, negative 1. Therefore, summarize natin yung mga sagot. Ang center natin ay 2, comma, negative 1. Yung endpoints ng minor axis natin, tsaka major axis, yung major axis mga lodi, ito, negative 4, negative 1. And ito, 8, comma, negative 1. Yung minor axis natin, endpoints, 2, comma, 3 at saka 2 comma negative 5. Tapos yung foci natin have coordinates 2 plus 2 square root of 5 comma negative 1 and 2 minus 2 square root of 5 comma negative 1. So sana may natutunan kayo for today mga Lodi, especially dun sa mga STEM students natin na nahihirapan na sa pre-calculus. Kaya niyan mga Lodi, just focus and yun, more practice para mas ma-familiarize kayo dun sa mga problems. Salamat sa patuloy yung sumusupport sa channel natin and if every of questions or clarifications, huwag kayo mahiyang mag-comment sa comment section. And yun mga Lodi, subscribe din pala kayo sa mother ko, Mary Ann Maling yung pangalan niya. And more on cooking yun mga Lodi, yung kulay orange na profile. So yun, support din natin siya. And ayun, thank you so much mga idol. And I hope you all the best. Focus lang sa goal nyo. And ayun, keep safe mga Lodi, especially pandemic ngayon. See you on my next match tutorial video. And bye-bye.